Good day, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Um, this will be my last midweek press conference of the season, except for the year-ending State of the Union address I will give next week. As you all know, um, mybookie.ag has me under contract, and I must do these every week. If I wasn't under contract to mybookie.ag, I would put Ben Gay on all of your underpants and touch my nuts to all the bottles of water in the other room. Now, that being said, Merry Christmas. As you all know, we are now 3-13 and 13 going to the final game against Washington. I, uh, I wish we were actually playing against George Washington because maybe we'd have a chance to win. That said, the NFL is all about any given Sunday. It just so happens that our any given Sundays are all losses. Uh, as you all know, we set a New York Giants record in futility by losing 13 games for the first time in Giants history. But we benched Eli, we fired Reese, and we fired McAdoo. So that should make us all feel a lot better, right? We scored zero points last week. We are trying to do better than that this week. I, I met with Sullivan, and we decided we would throw caution to the win and actually try to throw the ball further than the yards needed for a first down. Sullivan finally understood that gaining three yards when you need six is not good. Also, I met with the offensive line, and I told him to hold on to every single running play. The idea is maybe we can get away with some no calls that result in big gains. Otherwise, we will be stuck with a bunch of mannequins trying to gain a half a yard on third and four. Okay, so here's the last injury report of this season. Goodson. And there he is again. Every fucking week. He's listed, he's listed as questionable. And I changed it to bullshittable. He's on the injury report every week, and he plays every week. Whatever. Tavares King, inflamed fudge maker, probable. Evan Ingram, dirt neck syndrome, questionable. Sterling Shepard, facial booty stank, just needs a shower and to brush his teeth. Iwani Unga, Unganga Manganga, Mamaku Mamasa Mamama. What the fuck kind of name is that? Who, who the fuck is this guy? Cut him now. Valentino Blake, hot beef nasal injection, baffling. Ben Edwards, hit the salami, now can't find it, possible. Melvin Lewis, couch bombing, undetermined. Matt Smalley, concussion from a flying camel, definitely, maybe. Byron Stingley, I've never heard of him. Show, show him the door, bring in anyone else. Cooper Taylor, taint transplant. Who the fuck, who gets a fucking taint transplant? Jesus Christ, you know what, send it to my office. I gotta see this. All right, that's that, folks. What can I say? Seriously, you jerk-offs watch us practice and play every week. You see what the positives are. You see what the negatives are. What, what could I possibly tell you that you don't already know? We're 2-13. and 13. We could lose 14 games this year. Losing 14 games is like tripping and falling down the stairs and your head accidentally goes up and gets stuck in your elderly aunt's twat. I mean, who the fuck wants that? Gabish? Okay. I need to go out now to the practice field. Go eat next door. My mother-in-law made you plenty of stuff that's still left over. There's food, there's big ziti. Then, then, then to go out in the field, get your little sound bites and your video and your little stories for all your fucking little sports networks that need to fill 24 hours a day of bullshit. And I'll leave you with this quote from one of the Maras this morning. You don't understand. Steve Spagnuolo never gets that head coaching position. That role is perfect for him. It'll make him a big star. 
but I'm going to run him out of football, and let me tell you why. Steve Fagnuolo ruined one of the Giants' most valuable protégés. For three years, we had him on the taxi squad, under contract, blocking lessons, footwork lessons, running lessons, catching lessons. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm going to make him a big star. And then Steve Spagnuolo comes along with his olive oil voice and guinea charm and runs off the training camp with him. He threw it all away to make me look ridiculous. And a man of my position cannot afford to make me look ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here. And if that Goomba interim head coach tries any rough stuff, you tell him, I ain't no Ben McAdoo. Oh, yeah. I heard that story. Okay. Get the fuck out of my stadium now, you ungrateful leeches. Go Big Blue. Yeah, you write every fucking word I just said.